Hi, Daniel Daly here, Talk Prophecies 5. Okay. I do have something to say in this one, which is possibly something of interest. Okay. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 to 22, the New Revised Standard Version. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You shall heed such prophet. This is what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said, If I hear the voice of the Lord my God any more or ever again see this great fire, I will die. And the Lord replied to me, They are right in what they have said. I'll raise up of them a prophet like you from among grown people. I'll put my words in the mouth of a prophet who shall speak to them everything that I command. Anyone who does not heed the words of that prophet, words that the prophet shall speak in my name, I myself will hold accountable. But any prophet who speaks in the name of other gods or presumes to speak in my name a word that I have not commanded the prophet to speak, that prophet shall die. You may say to yourself, how can we recognize the word that the Lord has not spoken? Now this is it. If a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, but the thing does not take place or prove true, it is a word that the Lord has not spoken. If a prophet has spoken it presumptuously, do not be frightened by it. Okay, I'll read that again. If a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, but if the thing does not take place or prove true, it is a word that the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Do not be frightened by it. Okay. Now, Deut Daniel chapter 2 makes it very clear the everlasting kingdom is established on earth. So it seems clear enough that the saints are to be resurrected and live forever in eternal life on earth in an everlasting kingdom. Until that comes true, the a &M does not regard Isaiah, Jeremiah, etc., if it does come to pass, in time, we do regard the full Tanakh. Until it proves true, and time is ticking, and nothing's happening, until it comes true, not regarded. A lot of time has passed. Why should we respect those prophets so much anymore? Yes, we heed them. The words are not being fulfilled yet. Are they really the Lord's prophets? If they come to pass, yes. Full tonight, that will be the A&M canon. It hasn't happened yet. Seventy years back in Israel, no resurrection of the dead. So, at this stage, we're going back to the 22 books of the Torah and saying, yeah, we've heard all the prophetical utterances. Supposedly they're prophets. We'll wait and see. But for now, time is... I'm not going to really bother too much anymore. They've run out of time. They haven't got their words fulfilled. So for now, 22 books of the Torah. If they complete the job, naturally we'll accept the Tanakh as a whole. Okay. There you go.